The Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers in the Philippines Incorporated, or CAMPI, has staged the 6th Philippine International Motor Show at the World Trade Center with this year's theme, Steer the Future. The event was graced by no less than Senator Ralph Recto as the guest of honor. So congratulations, you have a very healthy industry. Uh, sales have been growing double digit. Uh, jobs are being created. And if you look at the NEDA Ambition 2040, uh, ang pangarap ng bawat Pilipino magkaroon ng bahay at kotse. So they're ful fulfilling one of the needs, yeah. All of 17 Campi members showcased their latest vehicles and automotive technologies in the brand heritage display. The PIMS is organized by uh, Campi and this is the sixth uh, PIMS. So uh, this event is participated in by 17 of the top automotive brands in the country. So we are displaying, exhibiting uh, more than 100 cars which includes uh, the latest technology like electric vehicle, uh, hybrid vehicles, and even concept cars are on display. Some of the highly anticipated car models were launched and displayed during the motor show like Honda Cars Philippines as it presented the McLaren Honda MP430 and the new BRV. This year at the 6th Philippine International Motor Show, uh, our Honda's booth concept is a joyful future journeys. We wanted to show uh, future technologies or current latest technologies and also our latest product to Filipino customers. We have brought in for the first time to the Philippines the McLaren MP430 Formula 1 racing machine. So that's one of the highlights uh, for Honda in PEMS. And also we have a new HRV uh, Mugen uh, prototype and we also have launched a city uh, limited edition uh, which is available from today in the old, uh, old dealer networks with a special items added to the regular variant. And finally we have launched the all new BRV today here at PIMS, the new 7 seat SUV from Honda. Peugeot Philippines showcased their multi-awarded 308, one of the brand's best-selling vehicles globally. This year in the 2016 Philippine International Motor Show, Peugeot is very pleased to share with the public our motorsports heritage. Motorsports is not just our passion, it's in our DNA. So as a highlight for our booth, we have two customized 208 GTIs. The first of which takes inspiration from the 208 T16, which is regarded as one of the best rally cars to date. The second one that we have is an actual participating unit to the 2016 Targa Manila. Targa Manila is one of the most exciting uh, motorsports events of the year and Peugeot is the sponsor and a participant for the event. This is going to be our debut into the local motorsports scene and we're very excited about it. Toyota Motor Philippines has introduced its hybrid vehicle, the all-new Prius, presented together with rock star Arnel Pineda. Basically, we are consistent with uh, trying to uh, um, address that uh, we, we are a Wakadoki brand. Uh, we are a fun, fun brand. Uh, so that's why, if you would see, we have uh, various uh, vehicles that we have displayed, uh, such as the TRD Hilux, the TRD Fortuner, the new 86, the VS Cup car is there, and of course, the concept car, the FT1. So, everything uh, embodies uh, Wakadoki for the Toyota brand. Asian Car Makers Corporation showcased its recently launched all-new BMW 7 Series plus the BMW i Series. Well, in theme with the Campi's uh, theme this year for the 6th Philippine International Motor Show, it's Steer the Future. So what we have now is uh, a showcase of technological innovations in our current products, uh, showing that uh, technology that uh, most brands see in the future, we already have today in our products. So uh, in our pavilion today, we will see our flagship uh, BMW 7 Series with all its technological features and uh, luxurious pampering. Of course, 
behind us is the iconic BMW i8, uh, which is uh, the most progressive car of BMW to date. Uh, it is, um, it's a hybrid vehicle, so it ma runs uh, on electric and also has a uh, three-cylinder co combustion engine. Uh, in celebration also of, uh, continue celebration of BMW centennial anniversary, because this year we celebrate 100 years of BMW, uh, we have prepared Centennial editions, 100 year edition of the BMW X4 and also our 4 Series Coupe. And uh, recently we also introduced an all new BMW X1 which we also have here at the stand. So it's a whole slew of the future in uh, BMW products today. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines presented its premium SUV, the Outlander PHEV. A big bonus to the crowd came with the Aldab Tandem. Well, we're right here today at the Mitsubishi Motors Pavilion at the 6th Philippine International Motor Show. We have at this uh, XM concept. It's a new crossover MPV that seats seven uh, passengers. And we are also showing the Outlander plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And uh, the rest of the lineup, we have the 17 model year ASX, the 2016 Lancer EX, the Mirage Hatchback, Mirage G4, the Pajero VGT, and the Montero Sport, and the Strada. Volkswagen Philippines launched a four-door comfort coupe with 2.0-liter TDI diesel engine, the CC. Um, as you know, we've been launching um, some of our um, uh, models over the years. What we decided to do was to show the public the possibilities of having those what, what might seem plain cars, really how they look when they're dressed up. And so that's why we've highlighted the six of our existing models that have already been introduced with um, enhancements in terms of features, looks, um, accessories, etc. So I think people all of a sudden, is that the same car? when they realize that you can really dress it up. Um, so that's one. So we have six models here that are actually uh, in that category. Then we're also pleased to launch two models. One is our minivan called the Caddy. It's a true seven-seater with lots of luggage space. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive, uh, TDI, turbo diesel engine. Um, and, um, you know, it really is um, um, at a very attractive price point. Uh, 1.55 so that really is a very attractive offer that we have on the market and then behind me right now obviously is the Passat CC um, or the Volkswagen CC um, and really it's an executive sedan uh, that has all the highlights uh, it also is a two-liter uh, TDI engine uh, but it is a comfort coupe um, and therefore it is a, um, a sleeker and classier version of the Passat. Suzuki Philippines has showcased its best-selling vehicle so far, the Sears, with Regine Velasquez. This time, we Suzuki brought a seven vehicle. So let me introduce the first three. This three is a, a one of our top five uh, fuel efficiency model in a DOE uh, economy run uh, implemented last time. So one is a Celerio. This is a small car, uh, is a uh, number one in a petrol category. Second is a, this one, uh, Sears. It's also number one in a sedan category. The third is a Ertiga, which is, uh, which is also one of our uh, fast moving model. And a seven seat MVB vehicle. Uh, this is a three. And the next two is a, a Swift and Jimny which is already well known in the Philippine market. And uh, we also want to introduce uh, two vehicles in the Philippines. Uh, in the coming October, uh, we are going to launch a Super Carry, which is a small truck with diesel engine. Isuzu Philippines Corporation displayed its recently launched 2017 D-Max with brand ambassador Derek Ramsey to boot. Uh, we are now here in the PIM6, uh, the Philippine International Motor Show, uh, where we have displayed the latest uh, models that we have. In fact, two of the models have not been out yet in the market. We just uh, show it to the public. But at any rate, these are the limited editions of the MUX and the DMAX, which are due for introduction any moment 
next month. And uh, we have a total of five vehicles here. Complete 4x2 and 4x4 D-Max and uh, 4x4 uh, D-Max together with the Mu X 4x2 and the Mu X 4x4. Fusu Trucks and Buses has launched the reliable and durable F1 and FJ. Mitsubishi Fuso was a part of Mitsubishi Motors truck division. But uh, yeah, uh, more than 10 years ago, yeah, it was separated, uh, span off uh, from Mitsubishi Motors. It's non, uh, non currently, Fuso is a part of Daimler, Daimler uh, Group. Yeah. We are now launching two models, medium duty trucks, uh, FI and heavy duty trucks, M FJ. Uh, so, yeah, we are very confident our products uh, has a good quality and so if you come to the uh, Philippine International Motor Show, uh, please come to our uh, display of truck. The Fuso truck in this country has been there for several uh, decades already. But right now we're trying to uh, redevelop our presence in this area. You know, we have uh, always been in the small trucks. But this occasion allows us the opportunity to launch the big trucks, the FJ and the FI. I hope that this will be able to serve the requirement of the market for those types of vehicles. As we believe strong in further uh, development, in further infrastructure investment, so therefore then trucks is needed. And we are one of the players, right, because we can offer the entire range. Nissan Philippines has unveiled the legendary supercar that delivers exhilarating experiences for anyone, the new GTR. Mass the Philippines breaks the mold of subcompact SUV genre, the CX-3. Bayek M20 combines outstanding value and versatility, a multitasking vehicle for your personal and professional needs. And AutoNation Group Incorporated has displayed the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class and Jeep Renegade. And that's only to mention a few of an exciting array of attractions at the Philippine International Motor Show.